to dedicate this video podcast to Lisa Brown. Lisa, Lisa, our new our new hero. Some background. So in Michigan, the state legislator proposed a new abortion bill that would outlaw abortion after 20 weeks for any reason, with no exception for the mother's life. Which means that if she had a dead fetus in her womb... You would have to carry it to term, which it jeopardizes a woman's life, and give birth to it. So several legislators were getting up and voicing their, you know, disagreement with the bill. And what was interesting, if you watch the video, and I'll put a link to it, there were like three guys in the back, and they were like, ha, 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 yeah! <laughs> <You know? laughs> was it Lisa's best line was when she said, I'm flattered that you're so interested in my vagina, but no means no. Now, and that got her barred from that the floor. That got her barred indefinitely from the floor, which means she could never speak again on any proposed legislation. Women? Because of the word vagina. If, if, the, if it means we have to arm ourselves, I, I'm willing. You know, it, I have a It's couple, just getting ridiculous, though. I have, I have just, a couple of girlfriends that have learned how to use a handgun. It's getting to that point. It's just, how can we keep on passing these laws and restricting abortion rights? And it's a woman's life. There's no exception. I don't they know. cannot I, let go of wanting to control our birth, our sexuality, our orgasms. I, it goes on and on and on. I had a letter today from a young man who was determined to give his girlfriend an orgasm. Well, they always want to be in control of our bodies. And I feel like, how do they do that? They censor language. When I was on the Sharon Osbourne show, we were doing sex toys, and I said the word clitoris. And they said, you cannot use the word clitoris. Oh. Call it a C-spot. And I said, it's a clinical term. So then I asked, I said, can I say the word penis? Yes. Oh, so of course. how do they keep us ignorant? How do they keep us under their thumb? We can't even use the words, clinical terms, for our own reproductive system, our own bodies. And we don't for know how to orgasm. our primary sex organ, the clitoris. Right? I and you can't listen, say a vagina. You can't say anything. I had a thing yesterday with, was it yesterday? My th Things are moving so fast. <laughs> We're in, getting ready for Norway. We're I know. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> we, it was NPR. So I thought, NPR, That's isn't that pretty wide open? No. no. Censored. Well, so I start off by saying, well, it was the time when I called the, you know, all of my my slides, my, my cunt show. And he said, <laughs> oh. And I saw it. I felt it. And I said, so I called it a classical cunt and a and a, a Art Deco cunt that I think I said, and he said, you're going to have to use the C word. And I said, oh, so that means I can't say fuck, shit, damn, piss, or tits. I mean, are we really there on NP? And he said, I'm And with sorry. the internet, we can't say words. A word, a vagina is so shocking to these men in this legislature. Really? Really? I mean, is that ridiculous? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just, how old are you? Now, but, what I want to say is that it makes me realize for the first time that Eve Ensler going out there with her vagina monologues, which misnames the female organ. It, that's not our it's sex the vulva. organ. It's the vulva. But, in a way, her doing that at least got it into the culture, the word. It is so pathetic. These men are so insecure, so fucking insecure, that they are trembling in their boots and they know we're right at the place. And that's where they're going after it's contraception, tipping abortion and that's why i feel like our talk we're giving in norway putting the vulva on the map is so relevant more relevant your work is more relevant yeah. now than back then because it's time just to keep pushing forward with this shit you can't let up you can't get because no, every time no, we keep on giving no, them more and no. more and they're making their inroads it's just ridiculous there can't. has to be an exception for every law regulating abortion to save a woman's life. No, we've got to, women have That's got it. to, we've got to organize more, more intensely. We've got to speak out more loudly. We have to get together and, and join arms. And, and we can do that as simply as posting the video of Lisa Brown's talk, her speech. Yes. Yep. Get, get. On our blogs. It's awareness. You know, the fact that we can all communicate about this, that we're communicating to you about this. The internet. That's the power. The internet. The internet. <laughs> I was always censored until I had my first website on the internet, and I went, oh, a medium where I can talk about masturbation. Now, why do you think they keep that under their thumb? Oh, that's another word you can't say. Oh. No, you can say it. No, I think you I'm going to say it all the time. Masturbation, clitoris, vulva, vagina. <laughs> I'm Asshole. Saying all, I'm saying them all. <laughs> Penis, vagina, clitoris, asshole, testicles. Well done. Armpits. Belly buttons. <laughs>
<laughs> nose bugs, dingleberries. <laughs> thank you, Lisa. Yes, thank you, Lisa. We're very proud of you. And all of the women and men out there that are sensible and like sex must help us carry this torch. Putting the vulva on the map. Here we come, Norway.